between somewhere around 7 inches diagonal and extended 4 inches or less than the zone. Let's see if anybody shows up. It's like 10.30 at night. Probably not. It'll cost somewhere around 2000 bucks. So no, Samson. Particularly in the case where you are turning this into a problem. And how it's going to be solved. Oh, he did. Eh. That's funny. All right. Well, we, you're the zeroth viewer, or you were the zeroth viewer until YouTube finally decided to get its act together and actually show that you're the viewer. Oh yeah, you showed it because you got notified. Yeah, I got the floppy drive working finally in the old Canon Innova book, or Innova book. I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce that name, but turns out that the little bit of plastic that was the dust shutter, somebody rammed into the floppy drive, so I pried it out of there after taking a good length of time to disassemble this machine and it's actually easy to work on this thing i was quite surprised to see how easy it is to work on this machine it's actually not that hard to disassemble one of these things so what you got to do is you take out the hard drive you take out the battery you take off the little cover for the ram expansion bay and then what you do is you take out three screws in the back there's four screws underneath and then there's another four screws where the hinges are and then you then open the screen up you take out the keyboard or actually first you take off this piece of trim and then you take out two screws you take out the keyboard there's three connectors flex cables on this side you then take out two more screws you then take this entire palm rest off after taking off two more screws underneath the keyboard and then the floppy drive is right there and it was just a flex cable on the floppy drive this thing is dead simple to work on i love it so i don't know who engineered this machine at canon or whoever made this machine for canon but holy man this thing is dead simple to work on and i love the construction of it it's excellent it's absolutely excellent so i just got done installing the old monopoly deluxe here so i don't know if that's in the start menu i guess we'll find out here oh yeah virgin games there's monopoly I'm going to fix my lightning cable here. Ha <laughs> ha! There we go. <laughs> so, there's Monopoly. So now I can play Monopoly on the go if I really wanted to. I mean, granted, this is a horrible-looking passive matrix display with terms of the lines, but it looks fine otherwise. And these mouse buttons tend to be a little inconsistent, but not too bad. Oh, goodness, excuse me. So, I got this entire stack of floppy disks here. I'm just going through them. And I'm seeing what I can find here. So, let's see. There's Hocus Pocus. There's Crystal Cave Shareware. There's Gorgimer's Castle Shareware. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually debating on whether or not I want to keep Windows 95 on there or just put it back on Windows 3.1. I'm actually thinking about leaving 95 on there. It just makes a lot more sense that way. Let's see. I think there was a Duke Nukem. Yeah. Good old Apogee. Got Duke Nukem with the U in the name. Let's see, Commander Keen, Aliens Ate My Babysitter. I don't even know if that's what is on all of these. <laughs> Pickle Wars. That's a name that LGR would approve of. Hugo 3, Jun Jungle of Doom, Mystic Towers bonus disc. Oh, here we go. Doom. Actually, let's, let's try installing Doom, because why not? It's going to be absolutely terrible to play on this, but... It's worth a shot. If not, I actually have Doom floppy disks up there in my little stash of software, so. I don't even know what's on these floppy disks. I've just started perusing through them. But yeah, this floppy drive is working fantastic. Absolutely nothing wrong with this floppy drive at all. There is a setup file that I can't see up above. Oh, okay, these are just raw files. Okay, that makes more sense then. So, must, something must have been backed up to floppy disks from their Doom installation. Whoever last had these disks. So, I guess we'll go ahead and come up here and... I'll move this battery out of the way. Grab my little set of Doom floppy disks here. I think this is the shareware version, but I could be wrong. It says shareware on it, so that's what I would, I would assume. All right, let's see what actually is in this. I believe there's, yeah, 
two Doom installs, some other Doom disc that I can throw out of the way. All right. I actually don't know what sound card is in this. I've actually never looked in the device manager to look at that. So I guess before we go ahead and install Doom, I'm gonna go see what actually, what this computer actually has for a sound card. I think it's some kind of, uh, I don't know, I couldn't tell you. I guess it's some kind of crystal audio. I don't know, or maybe it's ESS. ESS ES688. I think that's got Sound Blaster compatibility. I don't remember. Anyway, there is an install batch file. Hopefully this is coming out all right. All right, let's enter. Yes, we want to install the C drive. Doom shareware. Yes, create the directory. And away we go. So yes, I went yard selling today and uh, I found another yard sale find, but I'm going to leave it secret until its own video comes out. And then please distribute that video like crazy. Because <laughs> that's what it shows on the, on the installation screen of the shareware version of Doom that I have. But I figure I'm going to load this up with a bunch of... Ooh, big problems reading that disc. Is it bad? Hmm. I guess I got a bad floppy disk. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Oh, right. You can, oh, no, I can't alt F4 out of that one. Okay. Huh. I guess my shareware of uh, Doom is bad. I will have to uh, check that. That sucks. Oh, well. I guess I'll keep it out of the box then. Let's see, Halloween Harry, Monster Bash, ooh, Epic Pinball. To run, type SJT at the DOS prompt. Sounds simple to me. Oh, what do you know? Mega Mouse Software, SJT Enterprises, 1480, Ala Media Avenue, Cleveland, Ohio. All right, C, Epic PB, yes, create the directory. Before running this program, enter setup after installation. So it must be unzipping something to the hard drive. Oh, yeah. One great big archive that is PK unzipping. Okay, so it says to run setup. Select sound card. I'm going to try uh, just Sound Blaster. Just do what the default settings are. I can just barely see the screen. <laughs> okay, so pinball to start the game. Yeah, no sound. Well, I don't know. I'm gonna look into the. I'm gonna look into the sound card situation. I can just barely see the uh, the screen. <laughs> That's why you don't play games on a passive matrix display, people. We thank you for playing Epic Pinball. Yeah, you can see just how bad the. The refresh rate is this game is shareware. Please copy it and give it to all your friends that can barely read the passive matrix display. You have experienced Android, one table in the Epic Pinball collection. Just when you thought it was over. Seven more worlds of pinball await. 
I want to get the full version of this if I can get a laptop that actually has an active matrix display. All right, I'm going to just quit that. And there we go. So I'm going to get out a full screen here. And then... Yeah, I believe this laptop has Sound Blaster compatible audio in it. It has the ESS 688 audio drive, which I believe has some form of Sound Blaster compatibility, if I remember correctly. I just tried setting it with the default settings and it didn't appear to work, so my guess is I didn't have the right addresses set. Which doesn't surprise me, because I didn't even bother looking in the device manager for that stuff. And I don't believe Windows is going to give me that information specifically. It's got Interrupt 5, DMA 1, and then uh, I'll have to make sure I keep a record of that and uh, keep that in mind as to uh, what it has. Now what this thing needs is a uh, PCM CIA or a parallel port CD-ROM drive. That is probably what this thing's going to need next. Anyway, I'm going to put Epic Pinball. Actually, yeah, put Epic Pinball back in my stack of floppy disks here. Apparently there's a shareware of Wolfenstein 3D in there. If anybody wants me to install that, I'll be sure to do that. Matrix Cube, that's Buck Rogers' game. Hmm. Let me say give that a try here. Does it say to run anything at the DOS prompt? No. I'm just going to go into the Explorer here. Let's see what we find. Oh, yeah, this thing is working great. All right, install. Matrix Cubed Install Program. I'm going to go and full screen this. What kind of disk are you installing from? I'm installing from the 720Ks. Unpack files to see Matrix? Yeah, sure. All right. Going to PK unzip everything, I guess. I like how it says exploding as it does its thing. Just don't mind my mess in the background. Oh, look, game dot over. Ha, ah, you're not fooling anybody. Nope, oh, there's disc two. And there it goes, doing the next disc. Free space is on the hard drive. I should probably be a little bit more conservative, but being that I'm only using like one or two floppy disks, I should be fine. Or one or two floppy disks per game. So I think I'll be fine. Do you want to install the pre-generated characters? Yes. Type start to begin matrix cubed. And there we go. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go into the explorer here. Let's see what was under matrix. And then we double click on start to start the game. I can't double click on this mouse for some reason. I always seem to mess that up. I'm not used to it. Graphics adapter type. This is VGA. Um, Sound Blaster. Alternate input type. I'm going to say neither. Path to save data. Yep, that's fine. Path to save data for countdown to doomsday. Yes, that's fine. And it's away. Hey, we got sound. <laughs> I knew this had Sound Blaster compatibility. Ah, 
That is awesome. <laughs> it doesn't sound great because these internal speakers are very tinny. But look at that. Look at that. Let's just do the demo. I can watch it. Under the leadership. Oh, God, the text is loading too quickly. Oh, I think this game's got a speed problem. It's running way too fast. <laughs> yeah, I think this game is designed for an old computer because it's already done the demonstration of it. <laughs> oh, wow. That was fast. I guess the no surprise, this game is from 1992. All right, that's enough of that. Uh-oh. All right, Alta 4. Exit to DOS. Yes. Okay. That game ran a little bit too quickly for this thing. But then again, we're running on a 486 DX4 100, so no surprise there. I'm going to get rid of the Doom folder here because that clearly didn't install, so yes. Um, let's see what else we can find here that's not speed sensitive. <laughs> Because that clearly was a speed-sensitive game for some reason. Uh, Goodbye Galaxy CGA, The Jill Saga, Epic Bonus Disc, Zargon and Killablaster, Master Detective, it's a clue game, Jazz Jackrabbit Shareware, King's Quest 1, Murder by US Gold, Biomenace, Ooh, Jurassic Park. Bet you that's going to be a real good one. And I think I got all three discs to that. Correcto. So, let's give it a shot, I guess. See what we can make happen here. Whoops, I meant to hit A colon. Oh, numlock's on, well, that's why. That's why nothing was working. What's on this disc? Just an installer. But yeah, this game probably came on some old Packard Bell of some kind. Ooh, this one even has mouse support. That's kind of cool. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I've got a bunch of old floppy disks. I don't even know what's on them or what I even have, so I'm just going through them all. And this machine is perfect for that. This thing would otherwise be practically perfect for DOS games if it wasn't for the Passive Matrix LCD. It's the only thing that holds this thing back from being perfect is the Passive Matrix LCD. Otherwise, this thing is just a treat. It's an absolute delight. Sound Blaster compatible sound. And perfect working high density floppy drive. Let's see, this is disc two. It's just a shame that it's a passive matrix display. I'm not complaining because I picked this up for 10 bucks, but you know how these things go. At least there's VG8 on the back, so I can actually hook this up to an external monitor. This isn't one of those sub notebooks that doesn't have any ports on it of any kind unless you have the docking station. This is a double spindle laptop, as they say. I hope I'm not too boring. I mean, I know that I'm just installing DOS games, but hope I'm not too terribly boring. Because I know it's about 11 o'clock at night. All right, last disc. As those Facebook posts go, kids today never felt the sensation of installing games from floppy disk. <laughs> <laughs> More specifically, all the shareware that they could have gotten from back in the day. Uh, I don't know if that's ever been something that's been posted on Facebook, but I know it's something similar. But not quite the exact same. I 
I think even when I when I connect this to an external display, I think this thing can actually do true color at 640 by 480. I think it has enough video RAM to actually do that, if I remember correctly. Um, let's see, music device. This is a sound blaster. And sound effects, we can do sound blaster, no joystick, quit and installer, save setup. To run the game, type JP. Sounds good to me. I can do that. Please wait while Windows prepares to run this program. Huh. Interesting. So it looks like it can actually run within Windows if you actually have Windows installed. Ooh, ocean. Let's see if the sound card works in this one. Yes, it does. Ha ha. can barely hear it over my box fan but there you go oh that sound though it's definitely working you can hear it <laughs> Skip that. Ooh, look at that. We got 3D in this. That'd be funny. All right, got another splash screen here. I wonder what resolution this is running at. Ooh, we're in. Start game. I don't know how fast or how slow this game requires. Again, I'm only on a 486DX4100 with whatever VGA graphics I have here. It's like it's in, it's loading stuff from the hard drive. Oh god, turn that sound down. Oh, that's uh, that's a problem. Um, the video is jittery. Uh. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, there's a problem here. <laughs> I think it's got something to do with the screen. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. This is this is unplayable. <laughs> oh no. Get it away. Oh get out of here. Get out. Quit this game. <laughs> Something's up with the screen. <laughs> Oh no. Oh man, that was Ah, oh, that was terrible. What even was that? <laughs> what even was that? It's like the screen just like jitter 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 like I couldn't even see a thing. And normally I wouldn't expect a, a passive matrix display to be that bad, but wow. That was worse than I thought it was going to be. Still though the game runs, but ugh, that was an unpleasant experience for sure. Yeah, I'm not sure what the hell is up with that. That's just weird. I'm gonna have to try that on an external display and see if it replicates that as well. I'm not sure what was triggering that. That's weird. Anyway, um, that's just a mouse driver. I know that for a fact. Um, I believe that's all I really have in terms of floppies. I think I have some other floppies out someplace else, but they're not inside right now. This is just one of my containers of floppy disks that I have. Um, and I've got some extra floppy disks up here. I've been meaning to try to uh, remake some Windows 95 floppies, because what I was going to do was make sure I get some drivers for this machine, and then I was going to reinstall Windows 95, I was going to just do the OSR 2.5 version on floppy disks. And from there, I was going to uh, clean off the original owner's stuff. And then I was going to just reload my own software on this. Not that there's much on here to begin with, but still. Um, 
So I guess why don't you say we load uh, Monopoly? We'll play some Monopoly. I don't know. Because, I mean, this is a Windows 3.1 program, but, you know, how this thing goes. So I think we'll probably go ahead and uh, see if maybe I can set the camera up here. I don't know how, but I'm going to try it. See, maybe I can angle the screen down here. We'll angle it down enough. This desk is slippery. Can I just do that? No. Is it just not going to let me? No. This lightning cable is like pulling my phone hostage, so screw it. I'm just going to unplug my phone. I'm not planning on streaming for too much longer anyway, but I'll just do that for the moment. Uh, it's going to push that still. Whatever. Good enough. All right. Let's start a new game. So, new. Sure, I'm going to play as the dog. I'm going to play as Wheelbarrow as the computer. Wheelbarrow can play as the computer, I think. Just beginner level, that's fine. All right. So let's go ahead and roll. Dog roll seven. Ooh, I got a get out of jail free card. <laughs> I love how he says cool. Well, that's funny. I set the wheelbarrow to be computer. I guess that wasn't true, or I still have to roll dice for the computer. Ha! Wilbro got income tax. You have to pay income tax. What do you want to do? I guess we pay 10%. Whatever that was. Alright, roll. I got 7 again. I got Virginia Avenue. Do you want to buy Virginia Avenue for 160 bucks or put it up for auction? I'm going to buy it. Oh, you can't just press enter. I got to actually click buy. I will buy Virginia Avenue then. All right, so now I got a roll for the wheelbarrow. Wheelbarrow also rolled four. Sure, we'll have Vermont Avenue bought by wheelbarrow. And then roll. Dog rolls four. Do you want to buy Tennessee Avenue? Yes, I will buy Tennessee Avenue. And then roll. Wheelbarrow rolls doubles. Alrighty. Wheelbarrow pays $12 to dog for rent on Virginia Avenue. Haha, <laughs> I'm already making money. You want to buy Indiana Avenue? Sure, why not? And then roll. See, this kind of game is perfect for a computer like this with a passive matrix display. Illinois Avenue. Yeah, I'll have the dog buy Illinois Avenue, sure. Just totally troll with Wheelbarrow. Ah, you gotta click on the dice themselves. Ooh! I almost hit the go-to-jail spot on the board. Oof. That was close. Alright. Oh, buy Pacific Avenue. Sure. Why not? Go, Wheelbarrow. Oh, does Wheelbarrow want to buy Waterworks? Sure, we'll buy Waterworks. That works. Ha. Ah, see what I did there? Dog roll six. Park place. Yeah, we'll buy park place. And then roll. Do you want to buy short line railroad for 200 bucks? Yeah, sure. Why not? And then roll. Dog passes goal. We get 200 bucks. Or no, the dog's on go. Okay. At least the sound card's working. Okay, Wheelbarrow passes go, gets 200 bucks. You want to buy Baltic Avenue? Sure. I'm just going to make everybody go bankrupt. Roll. Okay, dog gets 200, I would assume. Yeah, he's already got 200. St. Charles Place. Sure, we'll buy that. And I should have hooked up my PS2 mouse for this.
Nah, Wheelbarrow pays $10 to dog for rent. Ah, I'm still making money somehow. I only have 352 bucks though. Pennsylvania Railroad for 200 bucks. Shua. Yeah, I'm gonna be like broke. Dog's gonna be broke because I'm buying all this property. I'm gonna buy Kentucky Avenue. Yeah, we'll buy Kentucky Avenue. Why not? Dog roll seven. Take a ride on the reading something or another. I guess I pass go for 200 bucks. Very nice. Reading Railroad. Yay! Yes, I'll buy. All right, Wilbro, your turn. <laughs> I don't want to buy Marvin Gardens. I will buy Marvin Gardens for 280 bucks. And we'll roll. Oof. I want to buy the electric company. I will buy the electric company. I'm seeing stuff in the chat and I'm not able to read it. Yay, finally some side noise while I finish assembling another laptop. Well, you've come to the right place then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sitting here playing an old Windows 3.1 version of Monopoly. Or some kind of shareware version of it, at the very least. Alright. Dog only has like two bucks left, so I better be conservative. Wheelbarrow rolls eight. Ooh! Wheelbarrow pays $35 to dog for rent on Park Place. Well, isn't that just sad? Oop. Dog rolls doubles once. Dog owns Virginia Avenue. Yes, I do. Dog rolls seven. Ah! Dog pays $18 to wheelbarrow for rent on Kentucky Avenue. Crap. I guess I wasn't so lucky there. All right. Wheelbarrow passes go. Oh, dog, don't let me down. Ooh, I landed on a spot of mine. Yes. I want to buy Oriental Avenue for 100 bucks. Yeah, I'll buy Oriental Avenue for 100 bucks. Because Wheelbarrow's going to go broke before the dog does, although the dog's probably not going to have much luck either. I don't have enough cash to buy Atlantic Avenue. Well, crap. I'll put it up for auction, sure. All right, begin. No sale. It goes back to the bank. Well, sure, why not? Dog roll seven. Yay, I got $100. I can inherit. Yay! All right, back to the wheelbarrow. This is actually kind of fun. Yay, I got more money from the wheelbarrow. Wheelbarrow pays 24 bucks to the dog for rent on Electric Company. Hell yeah. Not a bad idea for buying the Electric Company, then. Oh, I don't have enough money for the boardwalk. Advice, don't buy cheap thermal compound, even if it's from Cooler Master. Yeah, cheap thermal compound is the worst. All right, I'm going to have to pass this up and put it at auction. All right, begin. We're going to put... We're going to We're gonna have Wheelbarrow buy Boardwalk for ninety dollars. <laughs> I love it. I want to make sure it's sold. <laughs> That's funny. All right, done. And now Wheelbarrow owns, owns the boardwalk, so now go. Do you want to buy New York Avenue for 200 bucks? Yeah, go ahead, Wheelbarrow. You can buy New York Avenue for 200 bucks. Dog passes go. Gets 200 bucks. Chance. Advanced token in the nearest railroad. Well, oof. Because Wheelbarrow owns... 
Or no, Dog owns the Pennsylvania River. Whew, thank goodness, that was a close call. Oh, Wheelbarrow pays 26 bucks to Dog for rent. Rip, Wheelbarrow. He rolled a double. Wheelbarrow rolls seven. Ooh, income tax. Ooh, you need to raise at least 34 bucks. <laughs> Wheelbarrow's in debt. Ooh, that sucks. Sucks to be the Wheelbarrow. All right, trade. All right, so Wheelbarrow, trade Oriental Avenue to Dog for, or no. Uh, let's do, can I just do cash and then 35 bucks? I don't know. Just trade. That'll work. Complete trade now, yes. And there we go. Now we have the money to pay the debt. You've made it. You now have enough cash to pay your debt. Oh, yay. Isn't that just nice? Now you have a dollar. And I rich. Or that's wheelbarrow. I'm the dog. There, wheelbarrow passes go and he gets 200 bucks. Oh, and he hits the income tax. <laughs> Oof. Uh, let's pay 200 bucks, I guess. I don't know what the income tax is going to be. <laughs> I love the animation with the income tax. That's great. All right, dog, go. Want to buy Atlantic Avenue for 260? Yeah, I will do that. All right, dog bought Atlantic Avenue. Go. Oh, Willowboro doesn't have enough to buy Connecticut Avenue. Well, isn't that just sad? All right, pass. Um, let's have. Uh, all right, we gotta press begin. We'll have dog buy it for forty bucks. So <laughs> I love that animation. That is great. All right, so Dog now has Connecticut Avenue for 40 bucks. Now Dog has 34 bucks. Ooh, I let out a card of my own. Sweet. All right, Wheelbarrow was your $1. Go. Oh. Rip Wheelbarrow doesn't have enough money because he's in debt because he's only got a dollar. <laughs> Rip Wheelbarrow. All right, trade. All right, Wheelbarrow to the dog. We're going to trade Vermont Avenue for $50. Or no, he can't even do that. So let's see. $34. I don't know. <laughs> this is. Woo, 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 woo. Well, I guess this game's over because Wheelbarrow's out of money. Wheelbarrow's in debt. You need to have at least fifteen dollar. Well, I guess we take. Uh, let's see, what properties do I own? Or what is what properties does Wheelbarrow have here? <clears throat> Can I sell the waterworks, potentially? Uh, I don't know. I guess Wheelbarrow's in debt. All right, let's go up here to the waterworks. Can I... Can I... Is it possible that I can sell that? Uh... Are you drag that? I've not actually read the instructions to this game. I'm not really sure. Hmm. Well, that ends that game because uh, Wheelbarrow went into debt. I do not want to save the current game. So, yeah, it looks like Wheelbarrow went into debt, and that ends that game. So, dog won, which is me. Ah, it ain't I smart. RGB is one of the worst thing to be invented. It's like the guys who put 27-inch wheels on Honda Civic. 
Well, it's not all that bad. I mean, I have blue fans in my computer. Although, granted, my computer has all blue fans. I don't have a mix of RGB lighting, so... I don't know. But anyway... I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap the stream up here. I don't got too much else to really do, so... I'm going to go ahead and shut down the old cannon. And give it a rest for the night. And I will see you all later. I'm so glad the floppy drive in this thing works. I also took off the uh, Velcro stuff on the top of this machine. So that way it didn't have all that Velcro. I still got to clean it off and I still got to clean off the rest of the lid with some glass cleaner. But you can tell that there's actually quite a stark difference. But anyways, that's it for now.